Cold weather got you needing some heat? We researched 25 plus of the best outdoor heaters of 2021 before purchasing and hands-on testing 10 top models side by side in a battle of the warmth. Exploring propane and electric powered models, our team of patio and yacht experts analyzed each heater meticulously for over six weeks in the dead of a Tahoe, California winter. We timed assembly time, measured heat radii and maximum output, and tested features like LED lights and auto shutoff tilt senses. Our detailed assessments and recommendations are here to help you find the model that will suit your outdoor lifestyle best. The first product on our list is Dr. Infrared 1500 watts. The Drive Infrared Heater 1500 watts is designed for use in outdoor environments and can even be used inside your home. The included mounting hardware allows you to affix to walls. It can be suspended vertically, horizontally, or mounted to a tripod for more versatility. For testing purposes, we used a tripod, sold separately. There are three heating modes, L1, 900 watts, L2, 1200 watts, and L3, 1500 watts. We found that to feel the most comfortable outside in sub-freezing temperatures, we needed to be seated or standing within three feet of the heater, making this a close proximity heat machine. With the ambient outside temperature of 24 degrees Fahrenheit, we were able to measure the max heat right below the infrared coil at 845 degrees Fahrenheit and felt cozy in just a down jacket and jeans. When it works, the remote is super handy, too. It is equipped with a tilt safety override shutoff if the unit gets bumped or knocked over. One issue we ran into was with the remote. We noticed some issues with inconsistency a couple of weeks into testing. Sometimes you had to be standing directly in front of the heater for the remote to work, and sometimes it worked just fine when you were seated or standing six feet away. Although installing new batteries seemed to completely remedy this issue, it left us feeling that using the remote will burn through batteries. If you are in the market for an effective electric heater for a small outside patio or living space, then the Dr. Infrared heater will not disappoint. The next product on our list is Memba's Mock Patio Heater. Right out of the box, the Memba's Mock Patio Heater impressed with easy-to-follow instructions. It took one person approximately 35 minutes to assemble, one of the fastest setup times of the mushroom top and pyramid models. The sturdy wheels on the base make it easy to transport, too. This model doesn't have a tilt safety override shutoff, but the base is weighted, giving some peace of mind on blustery days. We clocked the max heat directly at the heating coil at 913 degrees Fahrenheit with an ambient outside temperature of 24 degrees Fahrenheit, and as with all the mushroom-style heaters, the heat diminishes the further out you move from the unit. This model has an approximate 6-foot comfortable heat radius. The adjustable wraparound table made this one of the most versatile and enjoyable to stand around. There is always a place to set down your drink or even play a game of cards. The table features a built-in LED light that gave a sense of ambience in the docker hours, but we felt it might not hold up all that well with continued use. One qualm that we encountered while testing the Memba's mock patio heater was that the stainless steel DAWs that house the propane tank are thin and sharp. While opening and closing the DAWs of the propane housing, we sustained a few small cuts from moving the tanks in and out. Additionally, while we enjoyed having the table, it doesn't take too long for drinks on the table to heat up under the heating element, which is fine for hot chocolate and snacks but not ideal for cold beverages. That said, we like that this model provides a usable, illuminated surface that the others lack. These added features, plus adequate heat for one to four people, make this model a worthy consideration that encourages guests to huddle around the heat sauce. The next product is Hampton Bay 4800 BTU Stainless. The Hampton Bay 4800 BTU Stainless had fairly easy to follow directions. It took one person just under an hour to fully assemble, which was a bit longer than other mushroom top heaters. One thing we noticed straight away was a rather large dent on the tank cover, most likely from shipping but we wish it would have been better protected. This heater is made entirely of stainless steel, and it did seem to hold up to the elements well without any noticeable rust or damage. The quick light ignition button was one of the easiest and most reliable to use. We measured the max heat just below the reflector at 913 degrees Fahrenheit with an outside temperature of 25 degrees Fahrenheit and a slight wind. This made for warm ambient heat when you were within a 5 feet radius of the heater on such a chilly day. We realized quickly that the lack of wheels on the Hampton Bay was rather frustrating, especially when trying to move it around with a full tank of propane. It also does not have a tilt safety override shutoff if the unit gets knocked over while in use. If you are looking for a mushroom-style heat sauce that you don't need to move often, this one works fine, but it's not our first choice. 
The next product is Brisa Infrared Patio Heater. The Brisa Infrared Patio Heater charmed us for the first few weeks of use, but we ended up encountering a faulty emergency shutoff switch that halted its functionality. First, we'll share some of the things we like. Within seconds it produces a precise beam of heat that warms you with a constant stream of heat. The easy-to-use tripod, included, allows for operation in a variety of places. You can also mount the heater directly to your wall. You can use this heater indoors and outdoors, and it does produce potent heat in indoor settings. There are three variable settings that produce either a 900 watts, 1200 watts, 1500 watts heat output, and we found this it is rather pleasant to sit in front of. Now for the downsides. The Brisa infrared patio heater worked like a charm over three weeks of testing. Without any warning, we then encountered an error message with the slightest of movements. Even when you tiptoed by the unit while on its tripod, the slightest wobble sent this heater into shutdown mode. Although customer service responded to our inquiry within minutes, the unit, unfortunately, ended up being faulty, which we found disappointing for its price point. Thanks for watching and hope you liked it. As always, all the links about the products will be in the description below, so if you want to find the best prices, and more information that we might not get a chance to mention in the video, be sure to check them out.